Okay, here's the juicy stuff. I am a little sick, so bear with the weird frog-like sound. I don't know about that. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for coming subscribers. And I, I, I mean, I don't really know what to say about that, but just, just letting you know that I'm really thankful and thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Second of all, it would be great if you could just comment down below which video our journey started from. If you remember which was your first video. Now, with that said, in today's video, I'm going to be going through the assumptions that you all have of me. I've always wanted to film this video even before I had a YouTube channel. Because that's just so intriguing and like, I don't know, I'm just curious to know what people think of me. Also the fact, I, I mean, I still don't know if I can like process it, but people who don't even know me personally are watching my videos and they know me because of an online world. Like, that's so cool. That's so, that's so cool. Wow. Okay, so let's dive into the assumption. I think you love traveling and trying new food, which is very, very, very true. I absolutely love traveling. I live for traveling. I love the whole feeling. I, I don't know anyone who doesn't really. But for me, like traveling is not just the place, but it's also about the culture and the people there, about the new food thing. Kind of true, but also kind of like, First of all, I'm a vegetarian if you all don't know and even though there are many options for us but I don't know if I'm like fairly adventurous in trying new food like I would just probably have paneer and dal instead of like trying something very weird that I've never heard of. Okay, the next one. You're really chill and a big mood. Haha. <laughs> Love your content by the way. Thank you so much. Um, am I chill though? Am I? I don't think that I'm like a chill person. I, I got this a lot, but I, I don't think I would say that I'm a chill person. But I'm also not the kind of person who would like stress a lot, but I'm also not the person who's chill. You know, like, I don't know, I would just think that a little thing is a big mess and then just not be chill about it at all. I am Chill, but I am not chill. Okay, you've been a topper your whole life. I've got a lot of assumptions like this you're a scholar, you're naturally smart, you're intellectually superior. I, I don't, I mean, I don't think I've been a topper. I've been good at studies, yes, um, but <laughs> like a topper, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm just good at studies. Okay, the next one is you're a really chill person, lots of positive vibes. That, that's very sweet going on. You're really sweet. Say things from your heart and you've never been in a relationship. Thank you so much for thinking that I'm very sweet and I do say things from heart, that's that's very true. But this whole fact that you're assuming that I have never been in a relationship, wow. <laughs> Why? Why would you think so? The next person also says, you are single for sure. Guys, you just said for sure. This is not even a debatable topic now. She just said for sure. <laughs> Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really And you, okay, and you stop yourself? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Okay, is this not normal? Stalking yourself? Is that thing not normal? You also like to lose clothes more. This just probably tells that. I love you girl and you're just a doll. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. But really? For sure? Oh yeah, I love you too. Thank you so much for that. You think you could have done better in need so that you can get selected in Ames, Delhi or MAMC, BMMC, etc. Because you didn't like your hostel that much. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true at all. One thing that I want to like just let you all know is that I love my college. I'm not saying this because it's my college. I am so so grateful to be in this college and I absolutely love this college. I don't think that there is any college where I would feel better. I mean, no shade to other colleges. I don't know much about them. But for me, I personally do feel that it's just perfect. Literally the whole, it's perfect for me because I mean, the people, societies, and my seniors, the faculty, everything is absolutely amazing. And I absolutely love everything about my college. Except for the fact that it's not starting offline yet, but hopefully that will be soon. About the hostel thing, I do get it. I mean, I want to mention this because a lot of people got intimidated about my hostel reaction and I completely get it because I didn't say much about I mean, I said, but I just... I just showed you what my reaction was, but I didn't say what I'm feeling about it. Um, to be honest, I feel like I'm 
I'm pretty excited for my hostel life and the whole fact that it's gonna be whole like a whole new experience. Like I'm gonna live alone. And I'm also pretty excited for the whole fact that I'm gonna live like in a limited space because that's gonna teach me a lot and I know that for a fact. I, I don't want this to be seen like oh she is in this college therefore she's saying this no i i would have told you if i wasn't happy about my college i absolutely love the college and i'm very happy to be a part of the ucms family those were my assumptions on my youtube now going on to my instagram you are homophobic why why would you think so I don't know but I'm sorry if I ever came across like I'm a homophobic, that's not true at all. I completely believe that love is above any gender, any sexuality, any religion, anything like you know like in the end it's about who you love. You're cute and naughty. <laughs> I mean this is probably the first time someone has came up and said that they think that I'm naughty. I mean yeah, I mean I'm not all innocent and I'm a little mischievous you know. I am a little innocent but I don't think there's anything wrong in being naughty, you know? Okay, I wanna. This assumption is my favorite assumption. I assume your favorite aesthetic is Cottage Cove and Dark Academia. Girl, you literally just found my aesthetic. You know me. I mean, what? This is so cool. Literally, after like reading this assumption, I went up online and searched this aesthetic. I don't know if there's anything other than this which could like literally tell me my aesthetic. But yeah, so like. Here's my new aesthetic, Cottage Co and Dark Academia. You overthink a lot. I do. I overthink way more than a lot. Um, it's just my hobby. Maybe my passion and maybe my talent as well, you know. You're a people pleaser. Ooh. <laughs> Am I? Um, kind of, yeah. I don't want to be, but as much as I don't want this to be true, I find it hard to disappoint people or to just letting them down. Even if I want to like say no or something, I would probably find the best way to do that. Probably because if someone did that to me, I would find that a little rude and harsh. You are rich. <laughs> I feel like almost everyone gets that and that is why I got it. Okay, first of all, this is a very, very subjective thing. I don't want to like come off like, oh, she's not grateful. That's not true at all. I am very aware of how grateful I am for what I have and I know for a fact that my parents would do more than enough for me and I'm very very grateful for that but I don't I mean this is a very subjective thing and it's hard to answer this question because rich could be like I mean, for Ambani, you're probably poor and for someone on the streets would feel like, oh, she's so rich. So I don't, I don't know how to answer this question exactly. I'm happy with what I have. I do want more, but I'm here to work for it. You have many friends, which is kind of weird because one of the assumptions is that you were a really, really outgoing girl and fun, but just distant yourself from everybody like a limited circle. Here's the thing, I've never like been like, oh, this is my friendship circle, that's not a thing. I've been in different circles and all of them were my friends. I don't feel like I distant anyone, but it's kind of hard for me to, you know, be the first one. I feel like I'm still quite outgoing and we can be friends, you know. We we can be friends. You're not the type to give tips for need people because you think that content is shit. No, that's not true. I mean, I'm not the type, that's true. But not because I feel because the content is shit, that's not the reason. First, because I don't enjoy watching them, so making them for me would just be for views. I mean, I want views, but not like in this way where I don't even like what I'm doing and then I'm just getting views. That's not the way that I want to do it. The other thing is that if I make such content, I feel like I'll be stuck in that time. I feel like there's so much ahead in my life and like in everyone's life, but there's so much ahead and I would actually love to focus on those things. The third reason, which I absolutely believe in, which I didn't before, but now I do, is that you should do things your own way and not listen to what others are saying. Like. You can't take suggestions, but in the end, you should take your own decisions. You are doing YouTube just for money. Wow. I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious. Or for those of you who don't know about this, there's like this mark that you have to get before you start earning from YouTube. And I haven't reached that mark. All I want to say is that 
I'm not earning anything from YouTube right now and I still find it very amazing. It's something I've wanted to do from a very, very long time. It's probably a dream for me from sixth class. Just the fact that I didn't know how to is why I didn't start a YouTube channel. But as soon as I kind of knew that, oh, this is how YouTube works, I was on it. Or like, I wanted to be on it and started working for it. I would actually like to talk about my YouTube journey because I feel there is so much to tell you all and it would be so nice. So like, let's have a chit chat session about YouTube one day. You are sure, dot, dot, dot. And apparently you are. Wow, you just like, you just like hit me, right? You just wanted to do that for some reason. I'm not short, you are tall. Yeah, that's right. I'm not short, you are tall. Next one is you studied really hard to crack need. Is that an assumption? I feel everyone studies very hard to crack need. I've never met like a person who's like need to need I mean no I actually have weird. But I mean I feel 99.9% .9 of the people work hard if they really want to crack need and I respect them all. Love you all. You get to it. Keep working, keep grinding, keep hustling. You got my love, you got my support very productive person. I feel like I'm productive, like for me, there are not productive days. There is productive time and not productive time. Some days I have like a productive morning and non-productive evening. And some days I have a non-productive morning and a productive evening. Or some days it's just, I don't know what it is, but I feel like I don't have productive days. I have productive time. You are the cutest person alive and that's not an assumption. You're so sweet and that's not an assumption. I love you girl and that's not an assumption. You want to become a neurosurgeon. I would be honored to be a neurosurgeon who wouldn't, right? But I want to first like explore what I want to do. At least explore the first year of MBBS right now. I don't know what I want to be right now, but definitely neurosurgeon is something very interesting. And hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. It was so much fun knowing what you all think about me just from this online thing going on. And again, thank you so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take care. Love you. See ya. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. Now, you see, I'm all in my extrovert mood right now. If I'm on my introvert mood when I'll be editing this, this video won't come out.